In this video, we talk about why your air conditioning ductwork is sweating, why it looks like it might be leaking water, and what you can do to fix it yourself. So please subscribe if you would like weekly tips on how to improve your heating and air conditioning system and save money. What was the goal of the detective duck? The goal of the detective duck. To quack the case. Because to today we're going to quack the case on sweaty ducks. leaking water. Yeah, let's talk about sweaty ducks and how sweaty we ducks. can, what, why it's doing that and how somebody might be able to fix it. Can duck right. work leak water? Well, no, duck work doesn't contain water. There's not water in the duck work or there's not supposed to be. What is happening is the ducks are sweating. If you're really trying to be a detective here, if you're trying to quack the case. <laughs> what is happening is warm, moist air is coming in contact with a cold surface, a cold, the ductwork is cold. Think of your iced tea glass in the summertime. That glass is cold and you're out on the patio in the summertime and warm, moist air comes in contact with that cold surface. What happens? You get sweating and you end up with a pool of water mm -hmm. on the table. Mm -hmm. And that's what's happening with ductwork that is sweating. So the surface of the ductwork is cold because uh, we're in the air conditioning season. So we have refrigerated air inside the ductwork. So we can't really help that. What we can control is the warm, moist air. Why is warm, moist air coming in contact with the ductwork? It can be a, a, a number of various reasons. It can be something as simple as the basement window is cracked open. Oh, gee, we did that about three months ago when we uh, had an odor or something like that, you know, but. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes seasons change, and in the springtime, you opened up the, uh, the basement window and you forgot to close it back up. We had a case that we had to quack, and that's the last time I'm going to use that. Okay, right. yeah, no more. This was, no more this quack was jokes. an interesting case. We had a we had a, a, a house that a ten year old home, a completely finished basement. They had some moisture showing up down, you know, staining uh, ceiling tiles. It was a mystery because you got up above the suspended ceiling, up where the ductwork was, and on the top of the ductwork, it was soaking wet. Came it over. was literally holding water. Extreme damage. Like this has been wet for a long time. Well, of course we look for plumbing and you can look for that. You know, sometimes plumbing dripping can uh, then track someplace else off the ductwork. So it could be a, a plumbing leak, but this wasn't no plumbing. And it was in more than one place. Did we have wet ductwork like this? What we found we're in moving these ceiling tiles around, you're kind of looking up in the joy spaces and you could see some cobwebs kind of being air movement. Well, what we found was a crack in the siding, in the seams of the siding, maybe uh, not even a quarter of an inch, but it was about 10 feet long, the length of the deck on the outside of the house. Can you picture that? You know, a yeah. little crack this wide, but the length of the deck. Mm -hmm. And it was allowing- That would let in a lot of air, yeah. It was allowing, and it was in the dead of summer, a half a tube of caulking uh, underneath the deck and we fixed the problem. There we had infiltration. So you wanna check your home. If you think this is the problem, Look, we're looking for little cracks. We're looking for penetrations in the home. That hole that the refrigerant lines for the air conditioner go through or the cable TV guy just shot a hole this big and put his little bitty wire through it. Some caulking that has worn out or shrunk up and fallen away. Yeah. You're looking for, it can be any, Running your fingers uh, uh, on the outside of the house where you, the uh, foundation wall is and the siding laps over that, run your fingers up underneath that. Sometimes it's amazing how much room there is. It's not tight anymore. But you're looking for infiltration into that space that would cause the humidity to be high. The other is sometimes uh, homes are built on top of a natural spring almost. You know, we have some homes that it's just naturally moist. Now you want to check your gutter downspouts and, and groundwater. Is groundwater flowing towards your foundation versus uh, flowing away from it. You want to check for things like that. Short of all those kinds of things, sometimes it's just uh, you've got a warm, moist space down there, and that's where then a dehumidifier 
is really a great alternative as well. Some way to control the humidity in that lower level of the home. We have uh, whole house dehumidifiers that work extremely well. This isn't one of these, get it at uh, the Home Depot or something like that. You know, this is a serious dehumidifier. I actually have one of those at my house where, wow, what a difference it made in just the feel of your storage room. You know how you can have just that high humidity uh, can mm -hmm. just give it kind of a damp basement kind of feel where you can dry that out with the proper appliance. We did a whole other video with Matt about dehumidifiers, right? all about dehumidifiers. So I'll link right. to that. It's an interesting problem and one that a homeowner could kind of do a lot on their own yeah. to solve. That's why I kind of throw out these different ideas that maybe mm -hmm. it's something that people hadn't really thought of, but, but we have seen something like a, a quarter inch crack in, a, in some siding you know, that has, yeah. it's always been that way. It has always yeah. been that way. Another one was uh, we ran into one time where it was down in a basement, unfinished basement, and you had this one run, you know, this, this section of ductwork on the far end of the basement was sweating. And that's where we found an isolated place where it was a leak coming from the bay window on the front of the house was allowing warm, moist air just in this one spot. Let's go on to the other possibility. There are times where we can have warm, moist air come in contact with cold ductwork, and it's really not a fault of infiltration air or something like that. So think about this one. A lot of people have ductwork in their attic. That ductwork's gonna be cold. So now in the, in the attic, you need to have your ductwork needs to be insulated, wrapped and insulated. Sometimes insulation can fall away from the ductwork and cause warm, moist attic air to come in contact with the ductwork and create a problem like that. So there's places where we've got ductwork and we need to make sure it's insulated because it is in, the ductwork is in a warm, moist place. If you keep that in mind, It'll help you a lot as far as if you're being the detective trying to figure this one out. Thanks. I think that was helpful, Dan.